guys, what is up? And this is Zach King back with another Python video for Project Euler. And uh, today we're going to work on the sixth problem on the website. And uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. So, let's see, we have a sum square difference challenge. Uh, the sum of the squares of the first ten natural numbers is one squared plus two squared plus three squared, four squared, so on and so forth. And your answer is 385. The sum of the first uh, or the square of the sum of the first 10 natural numbers is so you have to add up all the numbers 1 through 10 and then square that so 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 4 is 7 plus 5 and so on and so forth and you'll end up with 55 so 55 squared is 3025 hence the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 10 natural numbers and the square of the sum is 3025 minus 385 and uh, if you don't understand what's saying, it's saying the difference between those. So subtracting the uh, so you subtract the square of the sum, uh, or you subtract the sum of the squares from the square of the sum. And uh, uh, saying square and sum so much might get you confused, but uh, be careful. Just remember your this one is always going to be uh, dramatically larger <laughs> than this number, and uh. Your answer for that is 2,640. And then ask us, find the difference between the sum of the squares of the first 100 natural numbers and the square of that sum. So, this might sound a little bit mind-boggling with all the squares and sums going on and uh, subtracting it, but this is actually a very easy uh, project or problem. So, first of all, we only have to write two main functions, the sum of squares and the uh, square of sums. So we're going to go ahead and write our sum of squares. Alright, let me change my, my theme because this is, I try to kind of change it up every now and then. Let's go with blackboard, that looks cool. Okay, so sum of squares, it's going to take a, uh, a parameter limit so that we can reuse this function maybe later. And uh, this limit will be the like in their example their limit was 10 and the one that we're doing our limits going to be 100 so we're going to say the sum of squares limit and what we need to do is make a uh, little variable called total equals 0 then we'll say for i in uh, range limit plus 1 because we want to include uh, our limit number so the limit is 10 we want to include 10 so for i in that range we're going to say total plus equals i squared and that's going to uh, make our total add each of the numbers squared like that and then after our for loop gets done we're going to return total now that was a pretty easy function Let's write the def or the, uh, the square of the sum now. Square of sum, and it will also take a limit, and it will also have a total variable. Now this time, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to say for i in range limit plus one total plus equals i. Now we're just going to add that now. Oops. Now what we're going to do is, in our return, we're going to return total squared. Because, see, what we did was we went through every number in that range and just added them together. So it's kind of a, a sum of it. And then we squared that number when we returned it, so we get the, the number there. Now, we're done with our main functions. Now let's do the meat of the program. We're going to say uh, S1 equals uh, let's see sum of squares 100 then s2 equals square of sum 100 now we're going to print we'll make this a little bit fancier answer plus a string of s2 minus S1 because we want to subtract the sum of squares from the square of the sum. Now, this is going to print answer and then our answer. Let's save it, build it, 
and we get an answer in uh, what Sublime Text Editor thinks is 0, 0.0 seconds. Of course, it rounds that, so it's understandable. So let's go ahead and check our answer. Copy it and uh, paste it right here. Confirmation code 17233. And when we check our answer, congratulations, that is correct. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't a very complicated one this time, but it's still fun to go through them all. And uh, I also have the problem number 7 video coming up really soon. I'm already working on it and problem number 8. So, if you guys will stay tuned and wait for the next one, that would be awesome. And be sure to click the like button if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you.